Hi Taurus, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Taurus Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. The message could be for you. Feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are timeless and general readings. Everything is located down below in the description box. So my website link, Instagram handle. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways you have been here and supported the channel. And let's dive into the situation. Flow. Getting back in the flow. Okay. Okay, so we've got Psyche. This is like moon, a lot of definitely spirit, spirituality, intuitive stuff. There's conflict around this. Okay, so there could to be two people here. There could be a person that comes across as being like more gentle, but there could be something um, like depending on which placement you fall in. You could be the gentle one, or you're dealing with someone who's, like, typically a very gentle human. You're not going to stay up, are you? And so, maybe there's something here about paying attention to spirit. A about the situation, we have trust and going with the flow. That's in the surrounding. I really like those cards. Okay, okay. So, Reverie Reverse can be a highlight of a unmanifested dream reality or something about the environment feels like it's distant from a dream in some way, in some area. We have the Seven of Pentacles, like something, there's a blockage in something growing and it looks like it's because of this conflict. The Ten of Wands is right there. Releasing burdens of the situation. Oh, that changes up the dynamic. So we have the King of Wands and the Three of Swords. Both are in the reverse. King of Wands in the reverse is a variety of things. Like, first off, the Ten of Wands can be, like, accumulating way too much. It's either tangible items or it's physical weight. Like, that's the way I look at it. But it can also be, like, emotional burdens. It's feeling burnt out. It's feeling exhaustion. And um, this King of Wands person is out of balance here. I don't know who this person is in your life and if they are a fire sign or not. But this is a person that is explosive. Like, King of Wands in reverse is, like... They have rage, they have outbursts, they can't control their temper. That's um, a person in the environment that looks like it's affecting certain things here. And that's why there's this, like, blockage in things growing because... Yeah, that was pretty much it. We have the King of Cups in reverse. That's like down here. Six of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Swords reverse, Four of Pentacles reverse, and the Seven of Swords. 
So something was stolen here. And Ace of Swords Reverse could be a lack of boundaries for sure, but it can be negative communications. And, but also there can be something here about like someone is lying about something. Okay. So, um, it looks like in your mind, Taurus, you could be thinking a lot about family and stability, Ten of Pentacles. Like, you could be thinking, that's like the main thing on your mind, is like, money, family. That's the whatever. But we have two completion cards, and so here's the tricky thing about this. There's either like two masculines here, um... You were either directly tied to some of these people or these are just, like, influencing factors that are, you're either connected to or it's, like, unknown. But both of these masculines are in the reverse, which is making me think that there's, like, this Three of Swords reverse can be feeling burnt out by just multiple triangulation situations that are popping up. So, for example, so I talked about this in some of the other readings, and I'm just going to say it, like, because it's just been all these different ways that the Three of Swords gets expressed, which is health. Three of Swords talks, yes, about heart chakra. This can talk about, like, heartburn or heart issues. If these masculines are out of balance right now, they could actually be have something going on with heart chakra. There could be there could have been heartbreak here or some kind of betrayal or betrayal or health was off in general. And the some of the ways that this can get expressed is if there's some conflict that you've had with a masculine in your life there was something previously in the past, like, dealing with this person. For some of you guys, it was a person that you were, like, intimate with, and that was some kind of, like, issue here in the background. And, um, what I think can happen is, like, if a third party enters the scene and there's two people that are together... Because right now it feels like you have some kind of wish or dream, either a lifestyle or like a version of yourself that you want to be in, but it's not there yet. The reverie is in reverse and it's it's not happened. It's not currently there. And there's all these things that you might have to factor in or take into consideration that if it like fits in reality with this reverie being in the upright and... Um, you might have put your trust in someone at one time, and I feel like that's had an energy, like, it's had an effect on you in some way. And there's all, there's a chain of reaction things that takes place if you're connected to a masculine who's out of balance. Either A, it will cause you to become, like, mirror this person, and it can take you out of balance, or you have to become ultra, ultra conscious and be your own person while you're dealing with the masculine, okay? And so the Three of Swords, like I was trying to talk about, if another person comes into the scene and because it's like all these things are getting thrown out of balance because there's a lack of boundaries, Seven of Swords, like something could be stolen or this is like exploitation of energy, whatever, it's getting manifest, it's stolen stuff. And um, there's a person that could be doing that. And when the third party enters, if there are two people that are together, then, and they're not getting along, because there's obviously conflict at the top there. And if another person enters the scene, 
then sometimes what can happen is this is like things will turn into the reverse. This can be the negative or shadow side of empathing where a person will start reflecting the shadow side of this experience. And then temporarily you can feel relief from the conflict with the person that you're dealing with in some area of your life because it's like someone else is coming in as a scapegoat and you get relief from being the scapegoat and dealing with repercussions from someone who has a hot temper and that can be like one side of it and this is all about like alliances but it can it definitely has a feel of triangulation to it and triangulation is shadow reflections if you grew up with it of having a parent that pinned two siblings together or tried to kind of like um affect someone else's behavior or get someone under control by trying to kind of like reward someone else in the dynamic and then punish the other one if they're not going according to plan or according to this whole situation but it's having this effect energetically and it's all like right there up in the face you know, this is all about, like, receiving attention. There's a lot of eyes and attention on maybe the situation or whatever is going on here. But now things to seem to be not growing or something happened. And Seven of Pentacles is, like, planting seeds and stuff. But that turned into the reverse. And that's why. So it's, like... You you might have to trust this situation and get in try to get into the flow. Both of these cards have controlling feels to it. King of Wands, King of Cups in reverse. Like these are external things that kind of like manifested. I don't know if these two like know each other. Like do they? Um I know this might not be for all of you, but there could be like two masculines in conflict over a feminine is that the that could be one side of this hmm oh is that the other side of it for some of you guys um so you could be the one if you're like the gentle one and you could feel like there's this conflict going on between these two maybe masculines and there's someone kind of like gentle coming into the mix and I'm going to dive into the extended, see whatever else wants to come out. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see it over there. But Taurus, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love, wishing you all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.